Ahoy! Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Yorkshire Media, I am Mark, your host, your presenter, whatever you want me to be. And yes, I am cheaper and better than the BBC, definitely better than the BBC. You know, you know, you, know, you get me for free. So what we're we talking about today? Well, I'm talking about Alex Belfield um, and things like that, because he's, yeah. You know, He's been done, yeah, yeah. This is the subject what I want to talk about today, is, is online bullying. And especially the stalking aspect of it, which people do do. Yeah, trolls do it to other people, trolls do start, you know. And you can get done for it. It, it just proves to it, because Alex Belfield has just got five years for online stalking, distress and harassment. So, believe you me, you can get done for it. He's just got five years for it. So, right, so here we go. So this is, you know, you know, you know this is uh, Alex. After a campaign of harassment against multiple victims, Alex Belfu was jailed last week, the former BBC radio presenter of Mapali can be seen smirking in the police mugshot after targeting former colleagues, well-known celebrity, and two other men online. Belfield had previously objected to this hateful conduct, but following a trial at Nottingham Crown Court, he was convicted of four accounts of stalking, two of which included causing harm and distress. So there you go. And if you, and believe you me, he has been, you know, that's Alex Belfield smirking. He, he, he really thinks it's funny. He, he, he really does, and it's not. He, it's not funny at all, um, in my mind. Uh, on Friday the 16th of September, Belfield was jailed for five years and 26 weeks over the four-weeks trial. The court heard how the former presenter was set about undermining the career of former colleagues with hateful and untrue comments. Belfield directed via email, social media and via his YouTube channel following a series of workplace disputes. Belfield will, would often copy in their more senior colleagues, leading them to, to experience considerable anxiety. The 42-year-old Belfield represented himself during the trial but declined to give evidence in his defence. Now if you're not guilty why would you do that? Belfield who previously presented a show for BBC Radio Leeds was labelled the Jimmy Savile of trolling and the subject TV presenter Jeremy Vine to an avalanche of of hatred. Belfield was Convicted of four charges, two of alternatives, and simply stalking. I'm in distress, basically. Yeah. Appearing in Crown Court for sentencing on Friday, the September the 16th, Belfield was given a total five years and 26 weeks in prison, which he will serve half on all four charges. He was convicted. The judge made restraining. Yeah, restraining. So that's the Alex Belfield story in my mind. So he's he's done the wrong thing, and and and, and he really has. He's he's an hated man. He really is hated. Um, one of his victims, I'm actually sure committed suicide, um, because he he got depressed through it and things like that. So that just goes to show that you can get done for online bullying and trolling. Now, the courts have said trolling is stalking and bullying, so I'm not wrong and things like that. So, that's me. As far as I'm concerned, it just goes to prove that I'm right. Now, what gets me about, what's the disgusting me about Alex Belfield, Belfield is he lied to his subscribers by saying, you know, I've done nothing wrong, I'm a whistleblower and BBC hate me for this. Not explaining that he'd been doing what he'd been doing with Jeremy Vine. He, he, he said it on YouTube, he said his videos, that, oh, it, it's untrue, I'm, I'm not bullying anybody. 
and all along he was bullying and stalking and he's, he's been done for it and also he's taken people's he's taken his subscribers money and not used it for his legal team you know what I mean at all he, he, he's gone to America on your money <laughs> you know what I mean you know, I, I, I didn't think people would be that stupid to give him money I really didn't but they did they all fell for it I didn't thank God um, things like that I do feel sorry for, you know, you know, for his victim. I really do. I feel very sorry for the victim, especially Jeremy Vine, where he's done nothing wrong to Belfield at all. <laughs> nothing at all. You know what I mean? So, Alex Belfield, yeah, he is. He, uh, um, he's been convicted of five years and 26 weeks in prison. So, that's five and a half years, as far as I'm concerned. He should have got more for it. Um, he should have got 12, uh, over 10 years for that. But five years, that's the president, sir. So if you are convicted exactly the same thing, expect to spend five and a half years in prison. You know what I mean? So there you go. So it's just food for thought. Bullying people online, it's wrong. You shouldn't be doing it. And you shouldn't be breaking any YouTube rules in doing it or, or, or any of their guidelines in doing this. This is completely wrong. Um. And as we know, trolls do, do, you know, people who bully online are only out for one thing. They are trying to push the victim to kill themselves. And it's as simple as that. Um, you know what I mean? Now, I, I were called, uh, well, I, I was basically called a liar when I, you know, oh, oh you can't get anyone done for, for harassment or online bullying. Yes, well, you can. The Alex Belfield case proves that you can. It's as simple as that. And he was sending emails to him. He, he worked, yeah. So it just goes to show, you can get done for harassment, even if you're corresponding with, well, it's classed as a victim. And that's what Alex Belfield said, yeah. He's just got done for stalking and things like that. So there you go. So anyone who's doing that to me or trolling me and things like that, it is wrong to do so. You shouldn't be doing it. You really shouldn't. You know what I mean? So just, just bear in mind, you can get done for it. Especially if people report it and things like that. And on another note as well, I've heard rumours that, you know, you know, people accusing Gaming Grandad of scamming. He's not, no, he, he doesn't scam anybody. Gaming Grandad does not scam anybody. What he's doing for the Stroke Association is a good thing. He, he, he asks for people's donations so he can sell them on eBay or the marketplace and things like that and give the money to the Stroke Association. At the moment, he's, he's not going to make you know the £2,000 what he was hoping to make in, on his target. So if you have any games what you don't want, please consider donating to Gaming Grandad. It's not a scam. I believe what UK Crowd and Tony Tech Powell tell me... Um, it can be proven he's got money. If he wants to buy stuff, he can. He doesn't need to scam anybody. And he's not scamming anybody at all. So that's wrong. So, no, Gaming Grandad, he, he's trying to raise money for the Stroke Association. And anyone who says he's scamming, which someone has said that, but we're not going to mention no names, but the people who have said it, it's disgusting, completely disgusting. Stop bullying someone who is disabled. Stop bullying people by saying wrong things. You're lying. You know you're lying. Gaming Grandad is very truthful. Also, he can prove what he does is legit as well. So there you go. So now, Gaming Grandad is not a scammer. <laughs> He's not scamming anybody. And anyone who believes it, take a look in the mirror and have a word with yourself. Completely. So that's my video for today. That's what I wanted to get off my chest. And things like that. You know, Alex Belfield has been jailed for five years and 26 weeks. And considering that Alex Belfield's got a big problem, because he will have, um, and that, and anyone who supports him after this, you need, well, look at the mirror and have a word with yourself. You need your head testing. You know what I mean? You really do. Alex Belfield is a criminal and he's been jailed for it. In my mind, it, the sentence is too lenient, but that's what the courts decided to do, and things like that. So, there you go. So, 
and also I wanted to mention gaming and uh, Chris as well. I know Chris, I, I talk to Chris on a private way basis. And I do know that he is not scamming anybody. So anybody who says he is, they're lying. They're completely lying because he's not he's not scamming nobody. And if you're one of the accusers, please take a look in the mirror and have a word with yourself. Because you're a complete idiot. You are. You really are. So that's my video for today. If you have liked this video, please consider subscribing. Well, please consider giving me a like. Yeah, if you can get me to, you know, say six, seven likes, then I'll be happy. So please consider liking this video. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more content similar to this. Um, you know, and if you do, you know, subscribe, please hit that bell. Hit all. That will let you know when I'm uploading another video. Please come back from time to time to make sure that you are still subscribed to me. And please share the video to your friends and your family and to other social media. Like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Bing, WhatsApp, anything like that. Please, you know, please share the channel out. People deserve to it. And it does help the channel out as well. It helps me out as well. And please, 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 please comment below if you want. Yeah, if you want to comment below, leave a message, then please do so. And I'll catch you on the next video. Bye. For now. Bye.